Hello YouTube, in this video we will be doing a boost leak diagnosis on this turbocharged 335i. Now you can use this same idea on any turbocharged car, however you need to have a good idea of how the air flows in your car. For example, in this vehicle there's an air intake which is supposed to go here and another air filter that is supposed to go at the back. And basically this car is two turbos. so. Um, one silicone inlet, this inlet right here, feeds one turbo and the other one feeds the other turbo and at the bottom here uh, we have the bowl, we have the two turbos which combine into that silver pipe the air goes through the intercooler and comes out this pressurized pipe and this goes into the intake manifold and into the engine now once you have a good idea of the airflow what you do is you block off uh, wherever the air could enter or exit. In my case, as I said, an air filter goes here, so I've stuffed in a bottle here to uh, seal the intake. I've sealed off this entry as well. I have two blow-off return lines. So basically the blow-off uh, valve returns in here. This is one of the return, um, return holes for the blow-off valve. It's blocked off using a 3D printed piece. Similarly, at the front, uh, this is the front blow valve return line hole and what I've done is I went to Home Depot and I bought a blocker it's basically an inch and a quarter plastic piece I drilled a hole in it and basically fit in a uh, quick fit uh, nozzle for an air compressor I think this is a three three quarter of an inch now similarly at the very back as well there's another inlet for the valve cover breather hose and I've blocked that off as well now currently everything uh, compressed air and intake air related has been blocked off now to test for boost leaks you pretty much do need an air compressor what I have back here is just a basic air compressor it's been compressed up to 100 psi and since the boost on this car only runs up to 30 psi we should be able to find the leak you could use a smoke machine or a hand pump but if it's a small leak you probably won't be able to tell what it is now I have my air compressor hose which I'll be connecting and we'll hear a whole bunch of weird sounds as uh, a lot of these blockers that I put in will try to pop out of place. So we definitely hear something. One of the blockers is trying to pop out, I'll push it back in place. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the air compressor quick hose connector here and what we'll do is we'll give it about 5 to 10 seconds for the system to build up pressure. We don't need to take it all the way up to 100 psi and I'll remove it and put my thumb here because if I leave it on, all the blockers I put on, they'll try to come out of place and that's not what we want. So here we go. So see a lot of the blockers, they're going to start to come out. I remove it, I put my thumb here, hopefully you guys saw that, and now we can definitely hear a boost leak. Alright, so the leak is clearly coming from uh, that hose right there, and that is basically uh, the vacuum hose that goes to the blow-off valve, to set off the blow-off valve, and I'm guessing it's missing a clamp, so that's where we hear the hissing sound from. To try to fix the leak, all I did is wrap that tiny nozzle in some Teflon, because the hose I was using is actually upgraded so it's bigger than the factory one. So let's see if this rectifies our issue. We're going to give this another shot. No leaks so far. I don't hear any hissing or anything. Okay, now I hear something. Yeah, I had to undo it because I think, I believe it's the blockers that are trying to come out. Alright, so I have my thumb pressed. The system is really pressurized and we don't hear any hissing. So it seems like all the boost leaks in this car have been taken care of. That's everything for today's video guys, hopefully you guys found it helpful and uh, please consider subscribing.